What's good, fellow foodies? I'm Mary, and welcome to my channel, Mary Tries It Out. And today, I want to go ahead and take you on a quick downtown Raleigh tour of their two famous food halls, one of them being Transfer Co. Food Hall, and the other one being called Morgan Street Food Hall. So, let's get going. <laughs> guys so we have arrived we are walking over to the transfer co food hall Like a bubble gummy like kind of flavor which is very strange 
Yeah. Okay, guys, so we just decided to just end it with the bowl box mango bubble tea slushy. Uh, everything else in the, in the transfer company food hall just didn't look appealing enough for me. So next stop, we're going to go in ahead and head over to the Morgan food hall. The Morgan street food hall is approximately about eight minute drive from the transfer company food hall. So we're on our way right now. Welcome to Raleigh, y'all. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, so we are walking over to Morgan Street. I gotta watch my step before I actually catch an L around here. There it is, guys. What a nice summer day, guys. Oh, there we go. Cute little marquee sign, food hall. Food hall, Morgan Street, okay. Let's take a look. We got plants here. All right. Bad Cat Coffee Company. Coffee, crepes, bagels, pastry, kombucha. Was Southern Kitchen. popular sushi burrito and that's the spicy crab burrito I asked what the spring mix was and it's just pretty much just like a typical lettuce salad that they put in but we can take a look and see what he puts into this burrito here uh, so it comes along with a sauce of your choice and I asked them what's their most popular one and they said the spicy mayo so I'm going for that so here we got he's putting some um, edamame he put some cucumber he put some um, spicy mayo. Now we're getting some of that spicy crab placed on top. We got some corn in there. Uh, toasted sesame seeds. Okay, so we're getting, yep, the spring mix of lettuce in there. That is very new. I've never had lettuce, nor did I ever think there would ever be lettuce on sushi, but that's going to be interesting. I'd like to see how that turns out. I would imagine that it's like for the texture just to bring on a little crunch and freshness to the burrito. He's doing it very nice and carefully. <laughs> so he's like just squishing it together. All right. Sweet. What's the name of your restaurant? Mm -hmm. Is it Yoho? Yes. Yeah. Yoho. Yoho Abashi and Sushi. Oh, okay. So it's Yoho. Yes. I didn't know if it was YOLO. Yolo. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yoho works. This is my first day, too. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Food Hall Morgan Street. There we go. We got restrooms there. There's a fan. And you can see images off of it. That's so neat. Oh my god. Awesome. bubble tea freak he loves his bubble teas especially the peach mango bubble tea and we're gonna see if he likes it and if I like it cousins main lobster so Chester has decided to go on ahead and get the Connecticut roll and why did you decide to get the Connecticut roll? Because I lived in Connecticut for 14 years. Because he lived in Connecticut for 14 years, so it's only right that we have the Connecticut lobster roll. So we're going to go on ahead and try that out, guys. Fish and chips. Macus and Bonatus. The bowls. Bowls of flavorful passion. Okay, that's, that's really a 
intense. The katsu. Display Tex-Mex chicken katsu. Curry in a hurry. Wow. That's awesome. I like that. I like that name, Curry in a Hurry. Because Bella Woods Fired Pizza and Tapas, Gourmet Wood Fired Pizzas. MKG Kitchen. This is MKG Kitchen Vietnamese Cuisine. Vietnamese Cuisine. Oh, Cal Bar. Wicked Taco. Oh, yeah, that's a cute one. And then we got. More seating in the back with more awesome art. Julia roll up speed. Wow. Pineapple upside down, fresh apples and caramel, pecans and walnuts, sticky buns. Then we got Raleigh rolls. Raleigh rolls. Taco. Coco Forte Dessert Cafe. Coconut Amaretto Chocolate Oreo. Wow, I love the outdoor eating patio. That's awesome. Let's check it out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the boba brew. And this is the 20 ounce, the largest size mango fruit tea with tapioca in it. Okay, so, see? It's not a robust mango taste. It's just a little hint of it. It's like a spray of it. Sort of like an artificial sweetener, like Splenda, for example. You know, whenever you notice there is a sweetness, but the sweetness is not completely there. It's kind of absent, sort of like a ghost. But you, you don't really get a robust flavor from it as I would want. The tapioca pearls themselves are, are cooked well, though. All right. All right, so let's get into this Connecticut lobster roll, guys. All right, so we got our pieces of nice, juicy lobster here. We got what they call a New England roll. And it looks to me sort of like it's like a piece of toast that they folded into a roll. <laughs> and it's buttered, it's lightly crisp, it's sort of like um, a grilled cheese, like kind of crispy, and I do like the feel of it. It's hefty, expensive, but hopefully it was worth it. Let's see. All right, cheers, guys. Mm. The lobster is good, but what I immediately took notice of is a huge burst of lemon and butter flavor that just bursted out of this bread right here. Full of, it's just full blown lemon butter flavor. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That was a juicy piece of lobster meat, guys. Yo, this is so good. Bam, you're gonna have to fight me for this one. This is good. I think the first bite was from the claw. And I think there are certain parts of the claw that are kind of like the texture of liver sometimes. So it's not as impressive. But this time around on that second bite, I took a really meaty, flaky, juicy part of the lobster that was so full and bursting with lobster seafood flavor. Oh my God. And that texture was so soft together with this lightly crispy New England roll and lemon butter. 
Can I get a third bite? Sure. Mm. Mm. Okay. You're gonna have to take this away from me. Eight, ten miles worth of my sandwich. <laughs> what do you think? Awesome. I'm a fan. I'm a fan too. So if you guys are a fan of butter, and I mean a lot of butter, lemon, and and that crispy <clears throat> grilled bread that's lightly crispy on the outside, a teeny bit soft on the inside, but bursting and gushing with lemon butter and your succulent, juicy pieces of lobster. That is your go-to, folks. You're gonna have to pay the price, but clearly it's for good quality. I'm gonna chase it down with the pickle because you don't really like pickles. Mm -hmm. I love pickles. Crunchy, vinegary, sour. Delish. So I'm gonna try coleslaw. All right, so here it is. Mm. Crunchy, not very mayonnaise -y, which is nice. It's a very fresh and light coleslaw. It kept it very light on the flavor and only really truly appreciate the cabbage and very light on the mayonnaise too. Here we go for Yoho. So this is the spicy crab sushi burrito with spicy mayonnaise from Yoho Hibachi and Sushi Burrito. So you see here, there's the outer layer of the seaweed and you got your rice. Then you have, ooh, you have some avocado here. And then you also have cucumber right here. We got some edamame. We got all of this spicy crab here with the spicy mayo. And then you also have the spring mix, which is really just your typical lettuce that they just stuffed in there. I never understood the idea of putting lettuce in your sushi. That's kind of strange to me, but we'll see. So apparently this is their most popular sushi burrito, along with their most popular sauce, which is their spicy mayo. So we're gonna give it a go. Oh, I'm loving the smell of it already. I can smell the nori, that seaweed layer right here. Oh my goodness, I can smell that spicy crab, and that crabby smell. It, it smells like straight awesome sushi. Let's try. Mm. I forgot to mention the corn. Immediately, I can taste the heat, but it's not an overwhelming amount of spice. It's a very inviting spice. It kind of surprises you. It's like, hello, welcome to the party. And then of course you can take notice of the crunch of the corn here. The rice is, is cooked well, and the crab, you definitely taste the crabby flavor from the imitation crab, it's good. Now, I guess I'll try with the spring mix. It's kind of strange, let's see. I can appreciate the crunch that it provides in this. Does it add any more flavor to it? I don't think so. It's just there for crunchy texture, the soft spicy crab and the soft avocado, which is nice and creamy. I honestly don't know what the corn brings to this because I already have a nice crunchy texture from the cucumber itself already. But I guess it's nice to know that you're having more vegetables in your meal. But that spicy mayo though, let's talk about it people. That's good. I really love that heat. That heat is just hugging my mouth right now, dude. Really good. Especially the nori. It brings out a nice flavor. What I love so much about it is how elastic and how stretchy it is. There's just something about it that I love so much. All right, folks. So that is a wrap. Thank you so much for rocking with me today. And if you haven't already, you know what to do. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. I post a new video every Wednesday. And aside from that, folks, sending nothing but positive vibes out to you guys. And I'll check you out in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, I am stuffed. Where are you, babe? Pretty stuffed, pretty stuffed. Yeah, dude, that was actually really good, guys.
If you ever have a chance, go on ahead and hit up that Morgan Street Food Hall. It's so good. Like it's got so many options there. The seating options are so great. You have an outdoor patio, you have the indoors, and it's nice and AC inside, and it's just got a bunch of cool stuff in there. Go there with your friends, or even go there solo dolo, man, because either way, or you gotta live your best life. That's one way to do it. So aside from that, folks, I had nothing but fun. I hope you guys did. And uh, we're gonna call it a wrap. Until next time, guys. See ya. Peace.